Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention in the controls. To do a dash, uh, you just have to double tap the control pad in a direction, like left to right twice. Otherwise, you'll just walk like this. So if you've been wondering how I've been dashing, now you know. Anyway, let's go to 4-4. Ooh, we're in a very spooky forest. Things are getting kind of dangerous now, and there's Bronto Burtz and Sir Kibble's flying all over the place. Well, Sir Kibble doesn't fly, he just kind of walks. I'm talking about the Scarfies, and then, oh my god, the Birds of Death! Not the Birds- ah, not the Birds of Paradise! Oh my goodness, this is a spooky forest. I am so scared. I am wetting myself as we speak. Oh, now we're safe. We're out in the open. Oh, here's a here's a little racing part. Or I should say a little racing part of a stage. This is completely optional to do. I don't even know if I'll do it properly. But uh, you basically start by getting the wheel and then doing this. Racing that thing right there to the goal, wherever it is, and it's very, very, very hard to do. As you can see, by the way, I just messed it up there. Um, if you get uh, down here in time, you'll be able to get to that one up, but otherwise, you can't get it. I don't know what's behind that door, actually, like, offhand, but, yeah, you, but it's just a race thing. It's hard to do. I don't think it's really worth it. Anyway, grab the bean here to kill Mr. Dumbo here, and uh, wait for him to do an attack here. Well, I guess he's just going to do a little jump there. That's not much of an attack there, I have to say there. Ah, but that apple is. Uh, I don't... Well, I'll take your power. I don't think I demonstrated this power. It is the throw ability, and over here, like, you can grab this enemy by sucking him in and then throw him right through the bricks. Yeah! That is bad a double S. And, uh, yeah, you can't jump when you uh, are holding something, so that's kind of a problem. But anyway, that's the end of the stage already. Yeah, can you believe that? Already. But uh, that was mostly explanation, actually. So that was that, and I haven't gone to that battle arena just yet, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Woo! And for Maximum Tomato, oh god, it's Bugsy! No, not Bugsy, and why did I just stand there? I don't know, but I need your ladybug friends. There we go! And now I can throw him at you with the- Ah! No, 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 don't you dare do that. Well, you know what? That ability is kind of bad because you're kind of fast and my ability is kind of slow, so that kind of hinders me there. And you'll give me the backdrop ability. Um, the backdrop ability is very slow to use, but it, it has its uses, so to speak, because you can kind of like combo attack enemies like that. Well, if you if you grab them on like a level, uh, level playing field and... Uh, Oh, whatever. Just screw it. This is not a good ability for this kind of stage. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And I was invincible there for a second, but now I'm not. Okay, here's all uh, poopers. I, I'm trying to demonstrate how that how that ability can be used. But oh well, there's maximum tomato down here. I'll get an opportunity later unless I get the power knocked out of me. And uh, oh, I got the power knocked out of me. Well, for now. Like if I grab an enemy. Ah, oh shoot, oh, screw it! Screw it! I was gonna say, if I grab an enemy, I can combo attack him into another enemy. There's nothing down here. I don't think there's any secrets in the stage, like, offhand that I'm thinking of. I, like, I, I don't know how to put it. Like, well, I, I do know how to put it. I don't think there are any stages, basically. My instinct is telling me that. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but whatever. So, well, and again, I'm the crazy gaming guy, so there's something wrong with me. Hey, come back here. I want to have you for lunch, or at least spit you out as a star. Digesting you, and then, ah, and then spitting you out as a star is a way of life for Kirby. And also watching piggies hump the walls. And that's another one of his favorite hobbies. And through the door we go. There is a burning enemy here, which I want to get for this particular area, because there is this this area is kind of like made for ah made for the burning ability. Um, as you can see, there's like the spikes. What the heck? That wasn't supposed to take a hit there. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Oh no! Okay, I got some uh, some juicy juice there, and there's the end. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, third. I swear I'm. I want to get that first place, but I'm just not going to get it, am I? Anyway, 
number 46, I believe, has a secret. So let's go in there and find where it is. Starting out, we got these breakable blocks. Well, just bombs that break the blocks. Well, I suppose the bomb blocks are breakable, so that's not an entirely untrue statement. And frogs of death. Hey, froggy, I'm coming. I'm coming to kill you. Ah, oh, I hated that story so much! So much! Well, anyway, you'll only know what I'm... You'll only... <clears throat> you'll only know what I'm talking about if you watch my Sonic Adventure walkthrough. And let me... Oh, screw it, I don't need your power that badly, I guess. And, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give me some notes. Give me some notes. Give me, give me. Here we go. And there's one. There's two. And I just need to do one more rally like that, and he'll be done. Oh yeah, come on, do it, do it. Yeah, you're done, you're done. Bingo, give me your mic power. Yeah. And in here, I believe there's a secret. Yeah, right there. Um, normally you're supposed to light up the room, but I just remember that offhand, because it, it had me stumped for a while. Because you have to light up this room, and it's like right at the beginning. And I remember it was right, like right near a corner, a really like deep corner, so to speak, a large corner. Uh, yeah, you're normally supposed to take one of those guys and then light up the room, and then you'll see a, if you backtrack a black hole, or I should say a black rectangle that you can go in, that's actually a door, and it leads you to that uh, secret area there. So I'm done with that, and I thought, ah, ambush! That was mean! That was very mean of you. So we're here. Oh, here's a puzzle for you. After collecting this rock guy, hit this one, then this one. Yeah, you don't hit that middle one just yet, which will bump that one up there, one space, and it'll bump it up to where you can get it. If you do it the other way, you won't be able to get that one up. So, there you go. Um, going up, the exit is at hand, and I can really- Ah! I can use that soda up here, whatever the heck that is. And into the door we go. Woo! Second! <laughs> well, I got the secret anyway. And that's 100% on World 4, well, Level 4, the Great Garden. And the next boss is Cracko Jr. But I'm pretty sure over here you just have to get yourself up to the top. So just grab the high jump ability and keep going up. Look out for Cracko Jr. as you're going up. You can see him, like, peeking up from the bottom of the screen there. Where, ah, where he's going to be at. Oh no! Poopers! Where he's gonna be attacking, so you'll know where to avoid. I accidentally, I accidentally messed up on the high jump there, but that's okay. It doesn't take that long to get up to the top anyway, and this is kind of fun. Whee! Whee! Woo! Yeah! You can always tell where you're going to be going next, because you can see the platforms coming as you're jumping up, so... It's not like you're gonna miss the platform unless you have, like, really, really bad reaction times. And it's battle time! He transforms into Krako! Um, when you got the high jump like this, oh shoot, attack him when you have the opportunity, because the way that he flies and the way that he attacks, it kind of con counteracts your high jump ability, but I think, that, think that's the whole idea of uh, having the high jump ability for this fight. Um, is because of the fact that he's so good at countering it. But if you time yourself correctly, you'll be able to beat him without any trouble and get part of the rod from the Fountain of Dreams. I was a little bit late on that dude there, but oh well. This is level 5, Yogurt Yard. As you can see, he's climbing... Oh no! A, a, a seemingly rock-hard stretch of yogurt. It must be spoiled or something. Well, anyway, 5-1. Let's go! I'm gonna lose my high jump ability here because the high jump is only good for, well, when you're climbing upwards. Let's just say that. So when you're going left or right, not all, not all that good, and especially not good when you're going down. Oh, 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 I see that cave down there. I see it. You can't fool me. Oh, poopers. That's okay. I'm going to go in here anyway. And there's a one up. Yay! And I will grab your stone ability. And, oh, do I want the stone ability here? I probably don't. And why does that angel have sunglasses? I don't know. Well, I lost my stone ability anyway. Oh, well. Wait, I think I need you. I could use you, I should say. Wait, how did I get the parasol? I thought I got the beam, dang it. Oh, well. Oh, I should actually show off the parasol. 
This thing is not good in the, in the slightest. You, you can't, like... You can't climb up... Well, you can't climb upwards. I'm thinking of uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra. But it's very awkward to use in that it's it's slow, and it's got a limited range. So it's not one of my favorite powers, so I'm just going to leave that there. There's a secret down here. I believe it's right here. Yep. Let me... There we go. There's the door. There's the switch. Dink! Yeah! Secret has been uncovered. Oh, whoa, 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 what the heck happened there? I just kind of like slid off the edge there. Anyway, now we're now in the waterfall area. Is this liquid yogurt? I don't know. It very well could be blueberry liquid yogurt for all I know. I mean, why would there be just regular old water in a yogurt wasteland? I have no idea. Well, let's see what I get third. Oh! Oh! Well, I think I have enough time for one more stage, so let's get to it. 5-2, the yogurt yard. Here we go, in the door, and through the caves of death. Hopefully they won't actually be death, but, um, I believe... Uh, if you... I believe there's gonna be a hammer power in here. This is gonna come in handy for a later stage. Um, you're gonna need hammer, or a rock, I should say. Hammer or rock in two places in this game, and you have to get them from another stage. Look off the coconuts above there. They will rape you. Um, and as I was saying, you do need a hammer power from another stage to get to a secret. And these se well, two secrets. These secrets are incredibly annoying to get, and I am not looking forward to getting to them, to be honest. But I am the walkthrough guy, so I must. Wait, wait, if I... If I I go through this door, yeah, that's what I thought. That, that's a little trick that they have there, and there he is! Hello, bonkers, how's it going? You, hammer, there you go, and I will sword you. Yeah, slice him and dice him, baby! Woo! I'm not gonna get his power just yet, because I'm surely gonna lose it by the time I get to the stage that requires it. So, let's just leave it at that. And up we go to the exit! Woo! Boink! Um, I actually think I have time for one more stage. <laughs> so, maybe? Maybe? Uh, nah, let's not push it. I'll end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Wait, wait, wait. I, I have time to do this. I have time to do this race. So I'll just do this race. Here we go. You know how, to, how these races work. Press A to grind the rails, and let go when you're nearing a black spiky rail. And that's just about it. Oh, it looks like it's between me and yellow there. Oh, I passed yellowy. Oh, Pinky's in the lead. He's in the lead by a good margin. Oh, go, Pinky, go. Uh, I don't know what to call different colored Kirby's. I could just say yellow Kirby, pink Kirby, green Kirby, blue Kirby. I don't know. I, I could just call him that, but I prefer just like pinky, yellowy, reddy. I don't know. I'm just kind of weird in that way. And so that's the goal. I got the first place and three one-ups for my awesome victory. Actually, that wasn't that hard, so it's not that awesome. Okay, now I'll see you guys in the next part. Hope you enjoyed. Toodaloo!